Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys, show you guys what I wore for my father's birthday. We had a little dinner for him and this is my outfit. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I think I have got the camera down pat. Now I need to uh, worry about the lighting. That seems to be the biggest issue. Um, this camera is not gonna give me the depth that I need for an outfit. You're not gonna be able to see a total head to toe. It's giving me um, some problems with that and then adjusting for clarity. So focus uh, goes in and out, but we're learning, we're playing. So let me stand back there so you guys can see and then I'll come back and talk to you. black blazer um, this one doesn't even button it doesn't have buttons like the capability so it's just kind of like a flyaway pretty much always open um, that's it and then I've got on a camisole which is from Express and it's one of their Barcelona camis these are hands down my absolute favorite camisoles I don't want to wear anything else I just love them I love the fact that for the price of one you get two options and this one is like a um, I don't know, it's like a, not a tan or a khaki, um, more of a, I don't know, it's like a slate kind of, um, gray taupe, I guess, and then the reversed side is a cream. So it's got a lot of versatility and I just really, really like it. I like the kind of racer back effect it gives in the back. I like that a lot because I do a lot of shoulder <laughs> exercises. Um, and it just kind of plays off of that really nicely. So that, and then this skirt, which my mother gave me for Christmas um, two years ago. These skirts were really, really popular. And I really liked it, but at the time, I was pregnant with my daughter, and she bought it so I could wear it while I was pregnant, because we had a party to go to. Um, and it's just, you know, it was a large, really, really pretty. It was from Express. Um, and after I lost all the baby weight, I could not get back into it, and it was hanging there, and I thought, well, I guess I should get rid of it. And my husband said, well, maybe, it can be tailored down to fit you because we really, I just really like the sequin skirt. Um, so I took it to my tailor and she was able to take the sides in a lot um, and really kind of, you know, fix it here. And then she took it down and she pulled a lot in around here so that it would be snug. And now it fits perfectly. I mean, I really do love the way that it fits. Um, so I feel like it was a good, you know, a good investment. She only charged me I paid $23 and I had two skirts done. I had another, a white skirt um, taken in on the sides because I bought that in a larger size after um, I had my daughter. I had to wear it to something and it was too large now. So I had them just pulled in and it was $23 total. So really like that. And this, like I said, fits extremely well now. So now I'm gonna take this off because I get hot in the blazer. It's nice for night because at night you kind of wanna, you know, something that you can cover up when you're out. Um, so yeah, this kind of looks better. Tucked out a little bit. Um, but these blouses, which like I said, the Barcelona, it's just got that V, but then in the back, it has that kind of razor back effect, which I just love. I think it's so nice. Um, it just kind of accentuates your back if you you know like to show off shoulders or arms. Um, and then this, and I just wear a regular strapless bra, a nude strapless bra that I bought at Target. Um, I just buy, my strapless bras at Target, I wash them pretty regularly. Almost every time I wear them, I wash the bra. Um, and when it falls apart, I just go get another one. So I find that works extremely well for me. My kind of everyday necklace, I had on my wedding rings, but I always end up taking those off. They always, they're the first things that just, rings in general for me are difficult to wear. Um, and then my two bracelets, these are the House of Harlow bracelets. I've had these for several years. This is a white leather, this is a black leather. Loving that, I would love to get a taupe leather and maybe like a pop of yellow or turquoise color because um, I love them and I like bangles and my criteria for my bracelets they have to be gold or silver either or um, or rose gold they have to be black or white some variation of black or white or crystal um, and then I like pops of colors and so I like like enamel bracelets things like that I don't like things that are threaded or um, plastic or you know anything like that I like them to be metal and kind of clinky so all my bracelets kind of have that kind of um, tone to them, if you will. So that's that. And let me take that off before I tell you what I have on my 
face, on my face, I've got on the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, um, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer under my eyes, on my lips I have on the Stila Karina, or Karina lip color in the um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Variation. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite liquid lip stick period. It stays put, it's on there, it does not come off on my wine glasses, on my teacups, anything. You know, you drink, you drink water, it does not come off. Um, my hair doesn't pull it or drag it across my face. I just find that it wears so well. It does not dry my lips out. I literally will wear it all day long. If I put this on in the morning, I go to work out in it in the afternoons. Um, and there's times where I'm wearing it, walking into the gym and people are like, oh wow, and I'm like, oh, I forgot I have this bright lipstick on because you forget about it. I forget about it. If it's the red one, if it's this one, or if it's a bright pink, literally it's forgotten about. I put it on, forget about it. The rest of the day it's there. Um, there's times where I'm lifting weights and I'm trying to wipe it with a napkin because I'm thinking, yeah, I look like a clown in here lifting weights with this, but it just stays until you take it off. The one thing that does wreak havoc on it that I have found is olive oil. So if you're eating like spaghetti, um, that kind of moves it around and it'll come off because the oil just kind of eats the lipstick. But everything else, just, yeah, everything else it wears really well with. Okay, on my cheeks I have the Hourglass blush on and I have this shade in the center. I don't know what these are called. I think that's incandescent Electra. I'm not sure, but you guys know that I tend to match tones to the tones of my blush, lipstick tones to blush tones. And then on my eyes that I smoked out, I'm wearing the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And um, I'm wearing all of these shades in the center, very cool tone shades. I put that in my crease. That's my transition my outer corner, and then to highlight, I use that light color. And that is it, that's all I've worn. I had lashes on last night, but as you know, it's too dark at night to film outfit of the day, so I usually have to get up the next morning and film what I wore. Um, so yeah, I tend to not do the lashes for my outfit of the day videos because they just don't apply well in the morning. So that is that. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging in there um, through all of my camera stuff um, and also for welcoming me into your routines because I share bits of my life with you guys and you guys have been so kind and generous to send notes when you feel like I need a note or um, a message or anything like that. So I really do appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. And you will probably see some children's videos um, sometime this week. My kids went back to school shopping. Well, we took them um, back to school shopping this weekend for some clothes. What we could find, which next year mental note or note on my calendar to shop the weekend before this weekend because everything was already taken. I mean, my, I found things for my daughter, but my son, there's no blue jeans in size five. There was hardly any small polos, like extra small polos. Um, things have already been picked over and next weekend is the Texas tax-free weekend and I'm thinking what do you even shop for on tax-free weekend because I don't know it's like you fight the crowd you buy what you can find because everything has literally been picked over the weekend before so what you can find you save eight dollars off of a hundred dollars so I don't know I just I, I don't know and for the crowd and the craziness it's not worth it I don't think um, but anyway I just wish they would extend that like on that weekend to, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they could just do it differently so it's not such a mad rush to the stores to pick clothes out that have already been picked over. It's just difficult. So yeah, my son, I'm gonna have to do a lot of online stuff for him. We can't find his Velcro sneakers the way he wants them, his jeans in the size he needs, um, even his khaki shorts, he's, they didn't have his size. It's like, really, why? I mean, it's, it's obviously a popular size, kindergarten size, um, so just difficult um, but the things that they did pick up they're excited to share with you guys um, and so that's that I know I had some comments about my son and how cute he speaks um, we have been through speech therapy with him for a number of years and it has been it has been a joy and a struggle to get him to where he is now and I'm very very proud of him because he is very clear um, as compared to a year ago or even six months ago when I was the only one that could understand him. Um, my daughter could understand him, but a lot of other people couldn't. And to hear him now, even though some of those sounds are not 100%, we're still working on them, 
um, he's communicating on another level and a lot of people understand him. So thank you so much for your kindness. Um, and somebody said that they love the way he spoke. Thank you because <laughs> I love the way he speaks. It's good to hear him speaking words. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.